Why should an economist look at art? If you care about bubbles, such as the one that caused the financial crisis, art is a very good place to start. You might not think it, but the art market is a very speculative market, just like the ones involving many financial assets. The two ways you can look at a bubble. One is what happens with prices, and prices go up during bubbles. But the other is what happens with volume of trade. During bubbles, the volume of trade increases a lot. Usually, the way the bubble deflates is that somebody figures out how to increase the supply and the bubble bursts. So the question is, what happens when it's impossible to increase the supply? That brought me into the world of art. If an artist dies prematurely, the amount that was expected to be produced by that artist is not going to materialize. So all of a sudden, the market realizes that you have, in fact, a smaller supply forever. We look at a group of artists who died prematurely and for which data on auction prices exists, and compare with a group of artists which are as similar as possible to this initial group of artists. What we find is that the death of our artist before age 65 increases prices by about 50% and increases the volume of trade by about 70%. This increase in price and this increase in volume lasts as long as the data can support it. As far as we can see, that bubble never burst. There are two takeaways, in my opinion. The first is that the art market is a lot like other speculative markets. It behaves exactly how stock market behaves during, during bubble episodes. The second key point is that a bubble doesn't stop because people wake up and come to their senses, but because supply increases.